Planning to visit Grindelwald first? Here's everything you need to know before you go. We're Janet and Brett, and we love helping you maximize your trip to Switzerland while minimizing your budget and planning time. Here's our ultimate guide to visiting Grindelwald first. We're gonna cover how to get here, how much it costs, which train passes cover the cost of the gondola, what types of activities you can enjoy, and what amenities you'll find like restaurants, shops, and hotels. Plus the view, of course. We know you have lots of questions and we hope we can answer them all in this video. So come and see Grindelwald Fierce with us. The first time we were here, we thought this place was called First, and then we learned it was pronounced Fierce. So now that you've watched this video, you won't make that same mistake the first time you visit here. Most of you will start your journey here at the Grindelwald train station, which is one stop past Grindelwald terminal. From here, you can get to the lift by either walking or taking a bus. If you walk, it's about 10 or 12 minutes down Dorfstrasse, which is the main street. And if you're staying here in Grindelwald and have the Grindelwald guest card, then you can ride the bus for free. You could always hike or bike up to Fierce, but the easiest way to get up is with the gondola, which runs from mid-December to the last week of October. You'll need to buy a ticket unless you have a pass that covers the ride. There are four ways you can get tickets. The first is inside at the ticket counter with an agent. The second would be out here at one of the ticket machines. Third, you could ask your hotel if they can buy in advance. Or fourth, buy online before you get here. That's one of our best recommendations if you need a ticket because you won't have to wait in line when you get here. However, you may be able to ride for completely free if you have one of the regional passes. For example, the Berner Oberlin Pass, the Jungfrau Travel Pass, and the Top of Europe Pass cover this trip 100%. And if you have kids, snag free tickets using the Swiss Family Card. If you have one of those passes, you can ride the Grindelwald Fierce Bond as many times as you'd like for free, and visit many other locations in this region as well. But we know Swiss train passes can be super confusing, so we made a video to be like an ultimate guide to help you choose the very best pass for you. We'll tell you a little bit more about that later, but for now, you're here to see Grindelwald Fierce, so let's take you to the top. We're here this summer with the Top of Europe Season Pass, so we can go right on in here and board the lift. top takes about 25 minutes and along the way the lift will stop at the Bort and Schreckfeld stations. The lift will slow down so you can hop on and off if you'd like, but today we're riding all the way to the Fierce station at the top. At the Bort station, your kids can enjoy an awesome playground while you relax with the view, eat at the restaurant, or buy food from the self-service stall. And at Schreckfeld, you'll have the opportunity to appreciate more amazing views, hang out with some Swiss cows, and eat, of course. In case you can't tell, visiting Grindelwald Fierce is one of the most popular things to do near Grindelwald. And that's because there are so many fun activities to enjoy. Plan at least a few hours, depending on how you choose to spend your time here. You can hike all the way to Schindiga Plata from here in about five or six hours. And the tourism promo video dubs it the most beautiful hike in Switzerland. But there are also trails for all abilities, including the two hour Marmot Trail, which is super kid friendly. And if you're a biker, you can descend 1100 meters all the way down to Grindelwald. If you're up for a short hike to a stunning destination, then this is the trail for you. In less than one hour, you can reach Bachelsee, also known as the blue jewel of the Bernie's Oberland. And on a clear day, you can even see a perfect reflection of the Schreckhorn on the lake. In the words of Cheryl Crow, the first cut is the deepest. Well here, the first part's the steepest. So plan for about 15 minutes of hard hiking before the trail levels off. I promise it levels out. You can see it back there, but we have one more steep climb to go. If you were wondering if it was worth it, you crest that last hill and get your first view of the lake, and then you realize it was definitely worth it. But when you come, be sure to walk to the far side of the lake, not only for the views, but it's also a perfect picnic spot. Just so you know, there are bathrooms up here. It's at this little building where the two lakes connect. However, there is not a water fountain. I know this looks like a water fountain, but it's just to wash your hands. So you'll need to fill up your bottle at Fierce before you start your hike. I'm not really sure what the connection is between Chiso watches and a cliff walk. Probably just a marketing budget, but this is a great way to get a fantastic view.
Oh my gosh, this is so scary. I'm just kidding. But if you do have a fear of heights, keep reminding yourself that the Swiss are some of the best engineers in the world. Or just admire the view. Regional and fresh. That's the motto of the restaurant here at Beerst. All of the supplies come up here the exact same way we did on the gondola. They offer breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and of course dessert. Plus they have a self-service buffet. With so many indoor and outdoor seats, you can truly come here in any type of weather. From the panoramic terrace, you can see, of course, the mountain views, but also the cliff walk, and sometimes you can even catch hang gliders taking off. Paragliders taking off. Both. Up to 100 people can stay here in the Mountain Hotel, and there are double rooms, family rooms, group rooms for six or eight people, and a dormitory for up to 40 people. There's also an old chapel that's been converted into an event space or a mini hotel. Now we've never actually stayed overnight here, but I imagine it could be the perfect way to enjoy a beautiful sunset or sunrise at Bakalpsi. Those are great, but a lot of people come up here just for the adventure activities, and there are four to choose from. The Fierce Glider, Mountain cart, the fierce flyer, and the trotty bike, which we're totally about to ride. That was way more fun than I expected. It's like this combination of a scooter and a bicycle, except it propels you forward, especially when you're going downhill. And I was riding the brakes the entire time. I really think if I hadn't been holding onto the brakes, I would have like flown off the mountain. It was exhilarating and really fun, but also seemed a little bit reckless. Somebody totally needs to start a business renting action cameras up there. I would have loved to have a GoPro today on a ride. We were going so fast, there was no way I could take my hand off of the steering wheel, but a GoPro renting business or some other kind of action camera would be perfect. If you start it, give me 10% of the profits. Like us, you can just pay for one individual activity or more than one activity, but there's also this thing called the adventure package, and it's where you can buy one to four of the activities and it includes unlimited rides on the lifts in between. But let's talk about that adventure package for a second. This seems to be geared towards people with no train pass or half fare card. So if you're driving into the valley and planning to visit Fierce for a day trip, and you plan to do one of these activities, it's probably your best buy. But according to our math, if you have the Swiss half fare card, the adventure package is only a good value if you plan to ride the Fierce flyer or glider, or if you expect to do some backtracking by riding lifts up and down multiple times. And if you have one of the regional passes, your rides are already covered. So you're only gonna save money if you literally do all four of the activities, and even then, just five francs. So outside of these scenarios, just pay for the individual activities to save the most money. And by the way, if your kids are begging you to do these activities, don't get the adventure package for them. Get a Swiss family card, which will cover their lifts up and down from Fierst, and then you can just purchase their individual activities. While a trotty bike is a super fun way to enjoy your day trip to Grindelwald Fierst, it won't get you everywhere you want to go in the Swiss Alps. So watch this video where we help you choose the best Swiss train pass for your next trip to Switzerland. And if you just want to get closer to the snowy peaks while you're here, then watch this one where we take you to the top of Europe at Jungfrau Joch. See you in Switzerland.